Hi, my name is Kathleen T. Pelly and I'm a children's picture book author. I'd like to read you one of my stories and it's called Raj, the Bookstore Tiger. It's illustrated by Paige Kaiser and it's published by Charles Bridge. Raj, the Bookstore Tiger. Raj was a tiger, not a jungle tiger or an Indian tiger, but a tiger all the same. That's what Felicity Fotheringham had called him the day she brought him home to her attic above the bookstore she owned. What a tiger! Felicity had gasped as she held him up to the sun. Look at that gorgeous golden coat and those beautiful chocolate stripes. Only a real tiger's name is good enough for you. I will call you Raj. Being a bookstore tiger was hard work. Mornings began with a patrol of the storerooms, followed by sun basking in the front window. And if a passerby rattled the window, Raj never flinched. He just chimed to himself, I'm a tiger, I'm a tiger, I'm a tiger. Then, after a face wash and a snooze, it was time to greet the customers with a leg rub or a hearty meow. But it was the afternoon story time that Raj loved best. After Felicity had gathered the children, she would announce, Now let's welcome a special guest, Raj, our very own bookstore tiger. That was Raj's signal to strut forward, eyes flashing and tail swishing, as he chanted to himself, I'm a tiger, I'm a tiger, I'm a tiger. Look, the children squealed, it's a little tiger. Then they tickled his chin, scratched his ears, and argued over whose lap he would share. Every evening, back at the attic, Raj cuddled up to sleep at the foot of Felicity's bed. And so life for Raj was as charmed as any fairy tale he had ever heard, until... One day, the new manager, Christopher Cuthbert, told Felicity that he was having problems with his cat, Snowball. Ever since we got our Labrador puppy, Snowball has turned mean and cranky, he said. My poor wife is at her wit's end. Why don't you bring Snowball here during the day, Felicity suggested. He might be happier, and I'm sure he won't be a bit of bother to anyone. But, as it turned out, Snowball was a bother to Raj. Who are you? demanded Snowball the moment Christopher plonked him down the window next to Raj. So startled was Raj that his tail squiggled and his purr vanished. I'm Raj, Raj the tiger, Snowball sniggered. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous! Tigers are wild beasts that live in the jungle and roar like thunder. Raj took a step backward. But, but, but I am a tiger, he spluttered. Everyone says so. That's why they call me the bookstore tiger. Snowball snorted. That's just a joke, son. You're not a real tiger. In fact, you're just a plain old marmalade kitty cat with muddy brown splotches that some people might call stripes. Now run along, I need to catch up on my nap, thanks to that yappy new puppy back home. Raj stalked off, head held as high as he could muster. He hid in the storeroom, mulling over Snowball's words. By closing time, Raj was a huddled hump beneath Felicity's chair. At bedtime, he burrowed beneath a pillow and fell asleep in a dark hole. From then on, Raj was either crouched beneath a chair in the attic or huddled in a hump atop one of the bookstore's shelves. I'm just a plain old kitty cat, he told himself over and over. He didn't come down for story time, not even when he saw Snowball sprawled in a child's lap with a smirk spread across his face. One night, as Raj hid beneath the Felicity's chair, he heard her reading aloud from a book. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night, she said. Raj poked his head out and peered at Felicity. Yes, Raj, she whispered, isn't this a splendid poem by Mr. Blake? I knew you'd like it. Slowly, Raj crawled up into Felicity's lap. He sat there, purring loudly all evening as she read the poem to him again and again. In the morning, Raj greeted Felicity with his best tiger roar, followed by pretend ambush and some dust milk swatting. Why, Raj, my little tiger, cooed Felicity. I believe you're back to your old self. Wait till you see what I've got planned for you today. Off they went to open the bookstore. By the time Snowball arrived, Raj was basking in the window. Move over, Sonny, ordered Snowball. No room for joke tigers here. 
But Snowball's giants had lost their steam. Raj didn't budge, not even when Snowball hissed and scowled. At story time, Raj watched from a high shelf as Snowball sprawled across two children's laps. Felicity clapped her hands and announced, Today we have a special guest author, Sanjeev Patel. He's going to show us a video about India where all his stories take place. Raj peered closer now. The lights dimmed, pictures appeared on the screen, the sound of rain gushed from the speakers. This is the jungle during our rainy season, the monsoon, Sanjeev said, and this is our very own Bengal tiger. A roar ripped through the store. Suddenly, Snowball fluffed up his fur, hissed at the screen, and fled in a streak of white. Raj, too, felt a stab of fear, but then he remembered his poem. The words made him feel bold and brave and tigerish. Raj sprang to the floor and reared up in front of the screen, eyes flashing and tail lashing. Why, look, cried Sanjeev. It's a little tiger. Yes, said Felicity. This is our other special guest, Raj, our bookstore tiger. Raj strutted around the children as they squealed and giggled and pointed. Later, when Sanjeev and the children had left, Snowball sidled up to Raj and whined, No matter what they say, you're still just... Did you know? Raj interrupted him, that there's a picture of a tiger in that book over there, and it's white, just like you. Snowball sniffed. Hmm, a white tiger, you say? Snowball gazed at the picture for a long time. He blinked. Finally, he purred. Come on, said Raj, nudging Snowball. Let's make their rounds together. Okay. Tiger, agreed Snowball. Eyes flashing, tails swishing, off they went, chanting, I'm a tiger, I'm a tiger, I'm a tiger!